All right, Crush, here's your Wednesday workout. As we kind of ease back into the, the scheme of things here, I also kind of want to have a little bit of fun on a Wednesday before again, tomorrow we'll get back in the, we'll actually start the lifting tomorrow. Normal, normal classes, right? But today I want to have a little bit of fun, but also get some good work in. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna warm up very sufficiently, very warm up a lot. Make sure those hamstrings are nice and loose. Make sure the hips are good, the calves are loose, because we're gonna do our first set of hill sprints. It is gonna be summertime. I'm looking at when we can do a track workout. I want to get up to the track. My schedule is really crazy with uh, baseball right now. Um, but I'd like to start getting back to the summertime stuff. I'd like to plan a day where we go down and do the mini incline. I'd like to plan a day where we go do the actual incline. I'd like to start planning some of that stuff, getting us outside. Part of the fun of being able to work out in here is, is using our fitness outside. I know I like to do 14ers. I like to do the incline. I like to do that kind of stuff. Um, stuff I probably could not have done or I would have had a very, very hard time doing before I found CrossFit. Um, so more of that on the horizon, but today we'll be doing hill sprints. So for those that haven't been here a while, I like to use the hill over here um, to sprint up. Um, it is a great workout. If you look at, uh, I always say, if you look at like the Olympics and you watch the, the guys and the gals that, that run the very long distances, the five, 10 Ks, um, you look at those body types, and then you look at the body types of those that do the sprints. Uh, I know who I would rather look like. But anyway, sprinting, it's great. It's actually a good strength building exercise. It builds some speed, some quickness, and speed is part of power. So the more power you have, the, the better you are on the Olympic lifts. That's a lot of power involved in the Olympic lifts. Strength comes mostly in the, the power lifts. Strength being a more of a slow force, uh, deadlifts, bench press, squat. Power is great in the cleans, the snatches, etc. And you're building power by working on that speed, working those fast twitch muscle fibers. No better way to do that than sprinting. So we're gonna warm up really good, walk over here to the hill, on uh, right up here by the gas station. In the morning, you gotta worry about the dark. In the afternoon, you gotta worry about cars. We're gonna start, there's a, um, a drain down there. That's about where you'll start. And you'll sprint up. And you might not have ever noticed, but there's like, there's like a crosswalk, there's um, red, concrete or red brick that crosses from the parking lot over here with the martial arts studio to the gas station you'll sprint to that and then you'll walk back down sprint up walk back down your rest is whatever you want your rest to be however long it takes you to walk back down get down get set and run up you're gonna do that 10 total times so i want you to be nice and loose nice and warm so we don't have any pulled hamstrings no freak accidents like that Coach will be working on making sure you're nice and loose on the backside before you head down there. It won't take long. 10 hill sprints takes no more than like 10 minutes. I love when people race, pushes you a little harder. Um, and then I always let people know that the ending is the crosswalk. The ending isn't three feet in front of the crosswalk or five feet in front of the crosswalk. So you shouldn't pull that proverbial parachute until you cross the crosswalk. Give it that full effort, sprint up, walk down, chat up a little bit, sprint up, so on and so forth. And then we'll make a really quick transition to the back of the gym and in teams of three or four or five or whatever, again, the point of this is to be kind of a fun day, um, we're gonna flip the tires. We're gonna get the tires out and flip them. The way this is gonna work is in your team of three, four, five, two, whatever you want, you're gonna take the tire, the goal is to get the tire around the parking lot twice. So it does take a little bit of time to do that. To go around twice just purely Moving the tire takes a while. If you have people that can flip the tire by themselves, maybe you just do a conga style. Somebody flips it, somebody else steps right in, they flip it, somebody else steps right in and they flip it, and you just keep flipping it. If you need more than one person, if you need a team of two, then two people flip it, and then two people flip it, or you rotate around. Whatever you do, however you decide with your team, there's no minimum requirement or maximum requirement of how many people can be flipping a tire at the same time. Just as a team, you're supposed to get around the parking lot twice. The catch is, somebody's always gonna be jogging 100 meters. So if you have a team of three, and let's say um, you're flipping it by yourself, one person flips, and as you start flipping, somebody starts to run. And they stop running whenever they catch the, the people flipping the tire. When they catch them, somebody else goes and runs 100 meters. Rotate it, do whatever you want. The point of it is to have fun. The running just adds a little extra to it. Um, we haven't flipped the tires in you know several months because of the weather. So we'll get out there, flip them, have a good time. Hopefully it's a fun Wednesday, um, and that's your workout. Have a good Wednesday.